we in the mall. Please ignore these mountains on my on my face. I can't seem to get rid of them. My skin. Oh, thanks, Sharon. My skin's doing something weird, and we're what trying to figure it out. You need to go and look for your jacket and spend save me dollars. Take the extra fifty off. The Watch clearance. the thing that I want not be on the clearance. Yeah. So I'm looking for two specific outfits today to wear to the pageant next week. Hopefully, we will find something. Hey, girl. This is where I do not need to go. As you know, I have already been there. The wallflowers are three dollars. It's happening. One of my favorite stores. Yes. Check out those side braids there, girl. Look at that side bang. <laughs> I finally found yeah, it is. <laughs> I finally found my outfits for pageants week after next or next week or whenever it is next week and um, so as I go to pay for my stuff at Sears I lay it up on the counter and the man just sort of stops and stares at me and I'm looking at him like dude um you gonna you gonna ring my stuff up and he says can I just have your eyes I'm like what he said, you can have my dark brown eyes. I'll take your eyes. I'm like, what sense? What sense does that even make? I really thought he was staring at this thing between my eyes the whole time. But I guess not. We are leaving Wilmington and headed to Charlotte. <laughs> The GPS keeps calling Shalote Shallot. Maybe we're the wrong ones. Maybe we're wrong. Maybe it is Shallot. Are you guys watching Wayward Pines? You when should. does it come on tonight? Um, Wednesday. It's so on I'm, Wednesday. Mine comes on tonight and yours comes on no, Wednesday. No, no, no. Yours comes on Wednesday. I get to watch it Thursday. Uh, I watch it on tonight. Pretty Little Liars! Well, now that ain't for me. Pretty Little Liars comes back on, guys, for the summer. We didn't sleep very well last night. My husband is on night shift, so it just what knocks me a lot of whack because lady is on guard all night long. As soon as I turned I turned my laptop off, I was watching the hunchback and your dome. And as soon as I plugged it up and put it on the floor, we get comfy. What does she do? A little, you know how the house will settle or everything is just like making just a little, like a little pop or just a little noise. Mm -hmm. That's all it took, and she lost it. And then finally, she got in behind, in behind my knees, and laid down and went to sleep. She growled for a little bit longer, but she finally shut up. That child was that a child? No, younger. A child. Is that a children? Do I smell a child? <laughs> I smell children. <laughs> Seasons. What season might that be? For the falls and the Christmases. Mm -hmm. Well, you want the summerses now. <laughs> it'll, it'll be tomorrow. Mm. I know Lisa's tree was pretty when I got done with it. Don't you like how she just takes her own horn? It was pretty. Because I did it. <laughs> it turned out really good. And it wasn't an expensive tree either. Well, it don't have to be. Until you told cheap. us that we, we should move on. Cheap. Now, that ribbon... That y'all were, what was y'all stole from me? Uh, she had the uh, same identical. But it was, re she's got to have some more ribbon so we can do the if other. y'all know me, you know. Yeah. I am different. I like to be different. But I'm going to tell you sometimes what. Sometimes I don't even, sometimes I don't like showing certain things. Well, here's what she need to do will then. steal my ideas. So what did mama do? She goes right behind me after she sees, she was with me when I decorated my You tree. need to get, slow down. And she, can I drive? She was with me but when I'm, I decorated it. And then she went and decorated one of her friends. And what did she do? Put the ribbon on exactly. Well, you need to get some more ribbon on. because we put more on hers than we did on yours. I don't need more. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. It's like hers was. 
I don't care how hers was. I don't want mine to look like hers. Point blank. But that's what I'm saying. You said that hers will look like your hers will look like yours. Because of the way you put the ribbon on. You done but it exactly she, like my tree. But it was easier to do it on her tree than it was yours. I don't know what was going on. Her tree's not as big as my tree. Yeah. It was a six and a half. Or was it six foot? Her tree might not be as been a big around as mine. Um, I got a pretty tree. But she Which got, you guys will see this Christmas. I'm going to show you the whole process of decorating the tree. She's got to have some more ribbon though because there weren't enough of it to make those little loops like I did on mine. What are you doing? I'm <laughs> Little loops. Hey guys, so Mama just left. Um, we've been, I cut her hair. I fixed some dinner. And uh, Cody's at work. He's working night shift duty, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Something about night shift. But, um. I am catching up on The Bachelorette. I am obsessed with The Bachelorette. So, I figured I would just, um, you guys can watch the rose ceremony with me. So, she just gave Luke the first rose. Okay, I like Chase. Lady, stop it. Okay, I like Alex. Alex I really Alex. like I really like James. I like Luke. Um, who else? James, James. Luke. Ah, okay. Um, and I like Luke. Luke already got the rose, so all of my favorite people have roses. So, so I'm good. There's one rose left. Jojo. Gentlemen, this is the final rose tonight. When you're ready. Let's see, let's see. I think she's going to send Vinny home. But I like Vinny. But I just think they don't really have a whole lot in common. This TV is loud. <laughs> Evan? Wells. Wells? Wells, we accept this rose. Right? Of course. I still don't understand. I don't understand why Wells is even. I don't understand why Wells is even still on here. You guys, Gentlemen, it's the final sorry. rose. You not receive a rose. Take a moment. <laughs> He's Take so dramatic. I don't know who I'm pulling for more. I like Jordan. I like James. I like Luke. I, I'm I'm getting more on the Robbie train. I'm not a big fan of Derek anymore, and I like Alex. Let me pause it so you can hear me because the TV's ridiculously loud. I was cutting Mama's hair earlier, and the clippers um, were kind of loud, so we were trying to hear it. She already watched it last night, though, um, so she already knew what was going to happen. So I'm going to call her here shortly to let her know what I think. But um, yeah. So as as you've seen, we did a little shopping today for um the pageants at Lumbee Homecoming. I will be vlogging. So you guys will get to see a video of all of this, all the festivities that we have for Lumbee Homecoming. Um, if you did not know, I am Lumbee Indian. That's the tribe that I'm from. Um, and every year around Independence Day, they do like a big homecoming for all the Lumbees, you know, that have moved to different states or whatever. Pretty much everybody comes home and we have powwows, we have pageants, um, we have 5K runs, we have gospel singings, we have um, a big firework display. There's a bunch of vendors set up, lots of awesome food. Like that is the biggest reason everybody comes besides the, um, the really cool things you can buy at the vendors. Really excited about getting some new beaded earrings. That's like my favorite thing to get every homecoming. I try to get a pair at um, the spring powwow or the fall powwow. Um, I don't think there was a fall powwow this past year though. Um, and I try to get one every year at homecoming. Last year I got two at homecoming. Just couldn't, I just couldn't leave them. But um, so I will let you guys see all of that. It is the best time of the year, as us lums say. But um, so I'll definitely show you all of that. But I needed two outfits to wear to the pageants. Uh, I used to compete in those pageants a couple years back before I got married, of course. So, um, 
um, sort of, kind of, you know, sort of well known around that area. So I like to look good when I walk in, you know. Hopefully these crazy looking things will be going away. I just don't know what to do. My best friend is an esthetician and I have, I know she's like, Paige, can we talk about anything else beside your face? Not until it's clear. Like, I don't know what to do with it. And I've been, my face has never been really, like, broken out. Like, I don't know exactly what the deal is. And it just looks like it's never been oily before. Like, I've never had, like, a problem with excess oil. Like, it's always been sort of combination. And it's never leaned on you know one side more than the other so i've never had any problems with that and i know you know the older you get your skin changes but nobody in my family on either side has like you know problems with acne or pimples or whatever you know the occasional pimple is fine but it's like i can't catch a break like i just don't know what to do and when it's like this i don't like putting makeup on because i just feel like that makes it worse because you're just you know, I feel like it's sort of infecting, in a way, the actual breakout. And I want it to just go away as fast as possible. I don't want to let it linger any at all. So, I got on a new skin routine. Washing it every morning and every night with um, an Aveda foaming acne wash. And, you know, Aveda is all natural. So, you know, that was pretty good. And I have two different moisturizers. One that I use in the morning has SPF and then one that I use at night. And um, so I'm, I'm doing everything right. I just don't know what's going on. I did change my soap um, this weekend to homemade lye soap. If you know anything about lye soap, it will dry up any excess oil. So you do have to use a moisturizer because you do need those oils. Um, but my face is still oily. <laughs> like it's shining right now. And that is, that is oil. That is oil. And it's been washed. So, I'm going to go wash it here shortly. And I figured, I don't know how crazy I'm going to be for doing this. But, I'm kind of bad for touching my face. And Brittany has always got on me about that. Which is my esthetician bestie. Which I actually call her my sister. But, um, I've, I'm so bad for touching my face. So, if there is a breakout, it's just so hard for me not to touch it. Because it's there. Which I know can, you know not help with the whole inflammation thing um and it possibly can spread but i decided i'm going to go back there after i wash it and do everything and put band-aids over the pimples that are like super irritated so if i do go to touch it i won't be able to touch it and it'll be a band-aid blocking me from touching it might be a little crazy out there idea but i'm gonna try and see i don't know I did put toothpaste on it last night before I went to bed and I slept with the toothpaste on because it's good for inflammation and they were supposed to disappear. Just so you know, they look the identical. They looked exactly like they looked before I put the toothpaste on. So if you've seen that going around on Pinterest, don't try it. It doesn't work. And it was the Arm & Hammer baking soda toothpaste and it still didn't work. So tonight, just going to wash my face. Do everything I normally do and cover it in band-aids. I just don't know. But, um, I am going to go do that. I'm going to probably eat another taco because I made tacos tonight. It's Taco Tuesday. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to just hang out probably for the rest of the night like I said Cody is at work so I'm just going to go around and clean up just a little bit since he's on night shift he doesn't really put anything out of place because when he comes home he sleeps <laughs> so the house is pretty put together other than the stuff that I took out to do mama's hair so I'm gonna go put that up and um so yeah uh hope you guys enjoyed watching our little vlog I know this has has nothing on the vlogs that I've put up in the past but I did want to make sure to get something up for you guys um, because I will be going out of town in the next week or so for Lumby Homecoming. So I'm going to have to do some early filming just to make sure I have my scheduled videos up for you guys. I don't want you to miss anything. So as you can tell, if you didn't know already, my new schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And um, I plan on sticking to it. So I will have to get on that. Um, so I'm probably going to go film maybe tonight. And, um, we shall, we shall see how that goes. But thanks for watching as always, guys. And, um, have a beautiful, blessed day.